Hello, Robert Ovadia with a 7 News Flash. New South Wales emergency services are about to brief the media about the catastrophic fire conditions affecting the state. We'll go live right now to Rural Fire Service headquarters. A rating of catastrophic and I'll shortly hand over to the Commissioner of the Rural Fire Service to detail specifically what is occurring around the state. Uh, just before 3 p.m. this afternoon, uh, temperatures in Sydney was 41.3 degrees, now it's 41.4 with winds up to 70, up to and beyond 70 kilometres per hour, both Wagga Wagga and Griffith. Rural Fire Services Commissioner Shane Fitzsimmons, firstly that uh, there has been a wind change in the south, uh, which was particularly bushfire prone at the beginning of the day. Temperatures were up around 40 degrees, now they've dropped down to 24. The bad part about that with the cool winds that are creeping north is that they are creeping very, very slowly as we just heard, so it could well be a long time before further north and towards Sydney that we get a, a respite uh, from that hot weather. The good news certainly is that no homes are lost, although Shane Fitzsimmons con conceded that uh, information is certainly limited. 130 fires burning across the state. 40 of them at the moment are uncontained. Uh, a couple of hours ago it was only 30, so that is a bit worse. The worst at Ka Yarrabin, Kalaminda and near Wagga Wagga as well. I'll be back at 4.30 with the latest on the bushfire crisis and a wrap-up of the rest of the day's news. And tonight, Mark Ferguson will host a special one-hour edition of 7 News at 6 o'clock. See you soon.